So, hey, saints, it's Sister with a Testimony, and I wanted to come to you today and just share just an amazing worship banner with you. If you look up at the top, of course, you will see the stuffed bobcat. We're not talking about that today. We're talking about the worship banner in the, um, the top where you see the teardrops. And this flag, understand, is sideways because it's so big I couldn't get it all in the other direction. So I just wanted to share with you about this worship banner. And I've had it for about four months. And the Lord finally gave me um, the meaning behind this flag. It's absolutely awesome. I had my friend Toby Davis with Heavenly Designs um, work on this for me. I sent her. Um, some information. Actually, we talked on the phone for quite a while about this. And um, this is the product of what the Lord gave me, what the, Lord, what the Lord revealed uh, to Sister Toby, and then her prophetic artistry coming to life. It's absolutely amazing. If you see it the other direction, I'm going to just turn the camera. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. But um, no, that didn't work. <laughs> you did get to see the deer heads, though. But um, anyhow, if you come up here to this top corner, you're going to see the teardrops coming uh, from heaven. And um, there's going to be storms in your life. Uh, there's also going to be much music. And look at the winds. Uh, the when, Through the winds and the storms, if you'll praise him, you'll get your breakthrough, saints. This is so cool. And then you've got the fire coming out. And you still have more music. Uh, down here um, toward the, the top right of the flag... You see in that praise, those uh, musical notes coming through uh, with a fire. Uh, you're going to have a lot of tears. If you look at this really close, you're going to be able to find uh, not only grief in there, but another uh, young lady that sings a lot. Um, she's always seeing the music and stuff. She said she saw a chief in the center of that eye. Um, I'm sure it's just like the Word of God. If you look at it, you're going to find more and more to elaborate on. And then as, as you come over here, uh, these tears are being shed through the storms of life and the winds of life. And then you also have the shakings, the shakings going on in these whirlwinds. Um, again, this is all part of a, a prophetic vision um, that uh, Sister Toby put on artwork for me. Um, you're seeing this grieving and crying going into this bottle of rewards. Every tear that you cry is going to be rewarded, saints. And um, I believe that bottle is going to overflow. My cup runneth over. Uh, <laughs> these tears shed uh, through the storms and the winds and the shakings of life and the grieving and the fact that you're still praising him and worshiping him. Uh, the rewards start coming out. And saints, you can see that in the glory. The harvest of souls is going to be in the... There's going to be glory. There's going to be gifts. There's going to be holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. The anointings, the hope, the joy. All found in these hidden treasures in secret places, um, generations and souls. Um, but the other day, whew, and I can just feel the presence of God all in this, the harvest saints. You see, through all my tears and storms and winds of change and shakings and grieving and crying and praising and worshiping and, uh, you know, walking out in the yard one day, finding this bottle with, uh, a message from the Lord about hidden treasures in secret places. Uh, this is such an amazing worship banner because if you look in the Word of God in John chapter 4, if you look toward the end of the chapter, you're going to find that the Lord tells us to pray to the Lord of the harvest. I have been shedding whew, many tears as many of you have for this harvest of souls and it's by no mistake no accident that those tears are falling on that harvest and through that harvest we're going to see the generations and the souls come to the lord all those hidden treasures 
Oh my gosh. Joy, hope, anointings, holiness, gifts, the glory of God, all being rewards of our labor. Saints, I don't know about y'all, but this is an amazing work of art. and I'm just so thrilled that it's mine, that the Lord would put it in my hands. I uh, just want to read to you Sister Toby's understanding and inter interpretation of the hidden treasures flag, which now that the Lord has shown me the rest of the story on this, it's actually a harvest flag. Um, hidden treasures, definitely, but this is my harvest flag. This flag was created as a special order for a prophetic friend. She said she wanted a green flag, and in the course of the conversation, I gleaned insights into what was in her heart. She has been in a wilderness time alone with God, yet still actively in service to him, and knew that the blood, sweat, and tears were going to bring a greater force of deliverance. She shared of how she had been in meditative prayer with the Lord as she walked her property and saw the top half of a vintage green Coke bottle. <sighs> yeah, I'm in tears. I'll get this out, though. Just bear with me. The bottle was sticking out of the ground, and she felt compelled to dig it up. She heard the Lord tell her that she was one sent to dig up the souls who had been trashed, bulldozed, and hidden, and that she was to bring them out of the mud into the sunlight. Huh. Help me, Lord. And this is Toby speaking. I knew the emerald green was the color of the rainbow around the heavens thrones and a color for prosperity and bright green is a color for new life. In Hebrew, the word hidden means to hide. The word treasure can also mean hidden riches. So we had... <laughs> So we had a hide, hide, a double word, and when the Lord repeats something, he really wants you to pay attention. After I accepted this commission, I went online, and the very first post that I saw was about a new project in Israel, the chain of generations. Oh, it is a history of Israel and art that is composed of over 80 tons of emerald green glass with name and events etched into multiple pillars throughout eight rooms. I knew this vision was part of the prophetic vision for this flag. Emeralds in the raw often gather the prisms and clusters shooting out in all directions. The Lord led me to 1 Kings 19, the story of Elijah after he defeated the prophets of Baal and was hiding in the cave. God said, listen up. A mighty wind rent the mountains and break the rocks on the earthquake, a raging fire, but the Lord wasn't in it. Then a, st a still small voice. Huh. I was led to understand that this was the vision. That is we, the prophets of Yahuwah, seek him even in our discouragement and weariness. As we continue in faith through the storms and destruction of life, it is a sweet song in the spirit that we are listening to and worshiping through. That Yahuwah is not in the destruction, but if we trust him, he will bring hidden jewels of glory out of it. New anointings and callings will be given and kings will be established in the earth realm to take out evil. New prophets will be anointed with even greater power. So this flag has a vision of storms in the upper atmosphere. Rain and storms, wind and shakings, fires and tears. But hidden in the earth, our dirt, our jewels, springing forth for the generations. A great harvest of souls is hope, joy, holiness, glory. It's being formed. In one frame of the flag in the prisms, 
in a bottle with an eye dripping tears into it. This is scripture of how precious our tears are to Yahuwah, for he stores them in a bottle. Weeping may endure for a season, but joy comes in the morning. Mixed among the emeralds are drops of golden glory that drip and pool around the foundation of the building stones. Emeralds are one of the layers of the New Jerusalem saints. The reason that it's difficult for me to speak is because I know this is my harvest flag. And the Lord has said, I've given you the generations. I've given you the souls, the hidden treasures. Tell my people, I am coming with great shakings. I am coming. And in their storms and in their tears, if they will but praise me, I will give them the joy that comes in the morning. Tell my people, they are hidden treasures in secret places, and I have not forgotten one. I have not forgotten one. Tell my people that through their praise and through their worship, in all of the storms of their life, in all of the fires and the tribulation, there will be great joy. Yes, there will be times of grief. But tell my people, I come. I come. I come quickly to gather my harvest of souls. Hallelujah. Lord, I just ask you to bless everyone that sees this. Lord, let them hear what you have to say to them. Let them have ears to hear and eyes to see what their harvest is. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God, his sister with a testimony. Getting a greater testimony as the days go by. I love you. God bless you. In Yahushua's name, amen.